Hi everybody, it's me, Kathy, and today I'm filming my first ever YouTube haul. Yeah. So I'm really excited. This isn't everything because some stuff is still like ordering, but I just don't know when they'll come. So maybe I'll give the other bits of it and show it to you guys. Maybe I won't, I'm not sure. Let's get started. I'm happy to announce I finally got a handheld mirror from Amazon. There it is. It is vintage inspired. It's like a plastic. I can't see my whole face, which is nice. So we'll definitely try that out. So the next part is... Now the brushes are used because I brought them when I went to travel to visit my sister. I got the... Jeffree Star brush set. Got the Jeffree Star brush set. Oh my god. So I got the Jeffree Star brush set. I also picked up the Morphe M330 because it looks like my favorite crease brush that I have no idea what brand it's from. I got the Morphe M321 and the Morphe M536 which is like their under eye bullet thing. So far I like all the brushes. I've been keeping them in the little bag thing. The Star Mini Red Set. Yes, I also brought these with me. Yes, I put them back in the packaging so you guys could see the full thing. I also ordered some stuff from e.l.f. I got the Super Tone Toner with Brightening Fruit Acids because I currently don't have a toner. See, I don't remember ordering this, but it ended up in my package. It's the e.l.f. Needed Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I got three e.l.f. brushes. Two are eyeliner. One's the angled eyeliner brush and the other is the precision eyeliner brush because I want to do more with like fun eyeliners and stuff and I don't really have a brush for that. And then I got the fluffy eye blender brush. Oh yeah, I also got the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Pearl. Now I wore this a couple days and I liked it at the beginning but it just, it wore awful on my skin. Like I was using a like a pore filling primer and you can still see all my pores here and my pores aren't ever like that defined and it just it wasn't cute it was like breaking up everywhere and like days I was like maybe if I said it more I'll work better if I said it less I just I couldn't get it to work for me from Ulta I got the artificial lash placement tool because I'm not good with false lashes maybe this will help so got the nail decals from China Glaze because I'm doing my own nails for prom. Maybe I'll use this. So Coats is the sunscreen I love. They've changed their packaging. Here's it now. Here's the original. So it's basically the same thing except for this one's part face moisturizer. I couldn't find the exact same thing because they had one that was like a sunscreen and primer and stuff. So I'm gonna try these new formulas and stuff and see which one's the same as this because this is my favorite. I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. I got the Nude Sticks pencil thing in Mystic. I got this in an Ipsy bag years ago and then I lost it and I've been meaning to rebuy it. And then as a free goodie, I got the Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. What I got is a, I'm going to show it to you, but I'm just going to read it from here. I got the Cream Contour Stick in Light 1, the Cream Highlight Stick in Light 2, and then the Powder Contour, contour Singles the Contour 2 because it looked more like medium. So here's the powder. This powder is... Oh, this feels so nice. So here it is. This powder's pretty big, like, here's my Too Faced, here's that. Okay, let's swatch. Oh, it comes with a mirror? That's really nice. So here's that swatch. I tried to make, or to grab the most singular color to the one from my contour kit. That's the contour kit, that's the KKW. It is. 
This one's a more shimmery highlight, where the other one was more nude. Oh, well, that's pretty. Let's try contour one. Which looks like that. I'm excited to try these. The reason I don't have any makeup on right now is I am going to try all the new stuff I got in the haul. This part of the haul that's here today is actually clothing. It's from Shop is Rayla. I hope I'm saying it right. I actually am going to become an ambassador with this brand. I'm really excited. They've reached out to me and I think that's a good way to start like building a platform or like getting more known and their clothing stuff looks really cute. Ooh, yes. This is a bralette I got. Oh wow, this is so much cuter than I thought it would be. It's like one where you could also wear as like a shirt. Okay, so far I'm blown away by how soft everything is. This is a tube top, which might, I'm excited, I've always wanted one. This also might work really well for pride. Got a dress, which is a lot longer than I thought it would be, but it also has like side ruching. But I'm excited that it comes long because I'm 5'10", so I have a lot of trouble with dresses. And then I got, I think this is the last thing, I got a skirt that they had with like a cute little V thing in the front. You probably can't see it, so I'll definitely try this on. I wanted to just get like one of like each type of the product they had. So I wanted like once one bottom, one full thing, one top, one bra, just to get like a general sense. I actually have a promo code with that brand. It's Kathy10. I actually think that's really freaking cool. We're trying to make this work. Here is this dress. The side ruching is really cool because if you pull on it, like you can adjust the side or like the length of the dress. So I think I'll end up just inserting photos like, cause this is annoying. So like I can like have this be like to below my knees or like above my knees and up. So this is really cool. Oh, you can see the tag. It's really soft kind of almost like well, I don't know what real silk feels like, but kind of like a silky, it's very soft and nice. Like for like a summer night kind of thing. I really like it. So here's the second part. I think the bralette's really cute. I like the skirt. Just, I think I need a size up because it's really like clenching. It's really soft, like not quite velvet, but like a mix between velvet and felt. The bralette's pretty cute. I usually wear them underneath shirts, so I'm just gonna step out of the frame and throw on this tube top. Ooh, I really like the tube top. I also think this, just like as a combo, would be really cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a size up in the skirt, just because this is very tight. And like, it's supposed to be like a tight-fitting skirt, I just... I'd rather have a little more air to like, breathe here. But I really like this, and I think it's cute. I think I'm gonna keep the tube top on for the rest of the day and put on maybe some like high-waisted shorts on my mom jeans. We will see. Just realized my head's been out of this frame. If I do another try-on, I will have someone here to help me with the camera. All right, so I put on my mom jeans shorts because I couldn't find the real thing, but a little sneak peek of. I think I got my outfit for pride. Yes, I'm guessing I'm coming out now. I am bisexual. And I'm going to Pride. I am going to film a how I'm going to do my makeup for Pride. I'm going to do a flag inspired eye look. Not sure what I'm going to do on the lips yet, but we'll see. Well, this cape thing's really cool. But this is a really cute outfit. Like, I feel like this is how I would wear a tube top just because, like, I like the look of- okay, I'm gonna take off the cape. Okay, now I'm just gonna say- cause like, I like the look of it. I don't really like showing that much of my stomach. So this is like a happy middle and like, I like the way this looks. This is really soft and I'm pretty happy with this. So I think the big-ish part of this haul 
is I think I'm just gonna order this in a size up. Oh! Okay. That explains it. So everything I bought was a size medium. Um, they sent me a small. So I think that explains it. So I guess I'll go back and order this in a medium. I'm glad I checked before going back and exchanging it and ordering a large. So yeah, there's the clothing part of the haul. I'll probably wear this the rest of the video, probably with some kind of sweater because there's a cold front happening. And hopefully I can find my actual mom jeans. Hey everybody, it's me. Um, now I'm going to the makeup try on part of this video. So the newest thing in my haul where I'm going to try my face is the Photo Focus Foundation. I already primed my face mainly, I'm just going to go in with a blur stick like I normally do. And just kind of do my normal steps and I'll just fast forward through most of this and fill you in when things happen. Okay, I'm going to put in some earbuds. I went a little crazy with the color corrector. <laughs> it kind of smells like paint. So I'm gonna do. See what I think. You think it would be Jeffree Star face brush? <laughs> you know, I just realized this foundation brush still has the foundation that I didn't like on it, so I'm actually just gonna. Use a beauty blender. Oh yes, I'm wearing the shirt from earlier in the film. Yeah, it smells like craft, like acrylic paint. Oh yeah, I also got my brows done over the weekend, so that's why they look different. Alright, so I don't know how I feel about this foundation so far. I think a lot depends on if the smell goes away. How did I? So that's the foundation? Should I do con- right, I'm gonna do my concealer and then do the cream and just set it very lightly. Or just kind of let it set itself and then go back? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna take a really tiny brush to set the under eye. Truly just wanna set the under eye and nothing else because we're going in with everything being like a cream stick formula. Okay, let's try this.
Alright, let's try a pilot brush. Alright, let me guys let me know what you guys think of this down below. We're gonna go for a new stick and mist stick because it's a lip and cheek crayon, so we're gonna put this on my cheeks. Okay. So we're gonna go for a new stick and mist stick because it's a lip and cheek crayon, so we're gonna put this on my cheeks. Kind of nice. Okay, now I'm doing my normal light bake. smoke out the under eye a little bit. I don't think my feelings are going to change. I don't know. I just, and that thing fell out again. I just look at it and I'm bored. Like truly, I could do a better version of this look with my naked three. And it's like, I don't know, I just, I like getting a palette and feeling inspired or feeling like there are so many possibilities. Like to me, this might as well be like a quad. And it's like, I've liked Elf in the past. This just isn't doing it. I'm doing brow gel and I think I'm gonna take one of my Jeffree Star liquid lips and do like a colorful eyeliner and use it on my lips. So I think I might try this foundation with like my normal face makeup and to see what that looks like. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with Unicorn Blood for the liner. Okay, we're gonna see if I can get this on camera. There is a high chance I won't.
Oh, there we go so far. I'm gonna see if I can use this brush to just get a little more even color turned off. But I finished the wings, so they're not perfect, but like practice makes perfect. Normally I use like an eyeliner with the tip, not normally going with something like a liquid lip and drawing it, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm kind of sad that the only thing about this eye look that I like is the liner. Yeah, so. <laughs> Not a little more blush. I just want a little more glow. I'm gonna go in with this Innisfree highlight. Yeah, I got a paper cut on my cuticle, so that's why I have a band-aid and I bought Avengers ones, so that's why Black Panther is on my thumb. Alright, so I'm going to set my face and then pick a lip. You know what, I think I'm going to put the same shit on my lips that I did on my eyes. It was hidden in plain sight, of course. Here's the final look. So let me guys let me know what you guys think about what I got, how this is all looking. Especially like just the foundation and like just in general. I think it's a cool look. I still not a fan of the eyeshadow palette. Everything else. Sorry, my breath a little crazy. 
everything else I think is pretty good other than the eyeshadow palette and I don't know how I feel about the foundation so we'll figure that out but thank you for spending time with me and watch a video please subscribe and hit the little bell icon give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye